The Trade Ministry unveiled more details on measures to revitalize the country's manufacturing sector, all part of efforts to transform Korea into the world's fourth largest exporter. Kim Hye-sung outlines what the plan involves. Restructuring existing industries, finding new growth engines, nurturing talent and attracting more investment. That's the government's plan to boost its manufacturing sector, which accounts for nearly a third of the country's GDP, but is hobbled by its stagnant automobile and shipbuilding industries and a lack of new businesses to drive future growth. The government's goal is to raise the proportion of value-added industries in manufacturing from the current 25 percent to the OECD average of around 30 percent. To nurture new industries and develop new products, the government will push for structural changes by introducing more smart factories as well as AI and robots. In particular, the government will invest over 7 billion U.S. dollars in three new industries, including future cars, non-memory chips and biotech. To push for qualitative growth in manufacturing amid fiercer global competition, government support and investment is important. But with convergence between manufacturing, services and IT becoming the new trend in the fourth industrial revolution, easing regulations in Korea is actually more important to boost innovation. In fact, the Korea Chamber of Commerce and Industries poll on 500 local manufacturing firms Tuesday shows that two out of three surveyed haven't found new businesses to drive sustainable future growth. They're also losing competitiveness caught in between firms from advanced countries and emerging economies. The trade ministry said it'll develop a detailed plan to boost the country's manufacturing sector by nurturing talent in engineering and manufacturing and providing tax incentives as well as financial support for startups and mid-sized firms. Kim Hye-sung, Arirang News.